First tonight, though, continuing fallout over last month's demonstration in Portsmouth that ended with the destruction of a Confederate monument. State Senator Louise Lucas is suing a Virginia Beach attorney, claiming she was defamed when he accused her of inciting a riot. It was back on June 10th. The protesters tagged and destroyed parts of the monument. A 45-year-old man was seriously injured when a piece was pulled down on top of him. Tonight, Tenor New Sides Brett Hall spoke to Lucas's attorney, who maintains she had nothing to do with that. This seven page lawsuit filed today asks for $20.7 million to be awarded to the senator. It claims that the senator's reputation was harmed because of the attorney's statements. The day following the protest that ended tragically at Portsmouth's Confederate Monument, Virginia Beach attorney Tim Anderson put much of the blame on the senator because of her comments made to protesters on Facebook Live earlier in the day. This is city property. City and right. anybody who pays taxes in this city Hello. got a right to be on their property. Senator Lucas told the crowd, which turned into a riot, hey, you don't have to worry about the police. I'm here. You can do whatever you want with this statute. That is inciting a riot, and we know that because that's what the code section of Virginia says. Indeed, it does say any person who conspires with others to cause or produce a riot or directs, incites, or solicits other persons who participate in a riot shall be guilty of a Class 5 felony. Delegate Don Scott says that's a serious charge. And Senator Lucas is someone who has earned the respect in this community. What he says in this case is simply not true, and it's why he agreed to represent the senator in court. You can't defame us and get away with it. Is this saying that the senator did nothing wrong, or is this saying that she did not incite a riot? This is saying that what he said was defamatory. It's just that simple. Tonight, Anderson says he has yet to be served with the suit, but on his Facebook page indicated he's not concerned. In Portsmouth, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.